Well, here we go, bee lovers. We're about to dive in, so get ready. You're gonna see what I see. Take a couple of frames out here and see what we got. See if I can get them out. Whoo, boy, howdy. They are stuck. They are stuck. Looks like everything's been propolized. Well, not everything. I certainly see one that wasn't. I put these, I put these frames in here that had uh, wax foundations in them, and uh, they just don't look like they did any good at all. Here's the outside frame. As you can see, it's mostly been drawn out, and it has uh, uncapped honey in this side. See if that'll work for the time being. And here's another one. Got a lot of honey in there. Partially drawn, partially not. But they're certainly working it. They are certainly working it. Oh Lord, this next one's terrible. This is the one I told you had the wax foundation and it is all bowed up. They, they did a little work on it, but not much. Next one, partially drawn on one side, not on the other. I think there's some promise here though, because they're up here working it. I think there's some promise. This one's almost all drawn out and it does have honey in it. What part that's been drawn out? Another wax foundation frame that's not much of nothing. Partially drawn, and that part that has drawn does have some honey in it. Same here. Same here. Got some honey in it, partially drawn. And the same on this outside frame over here. It's not drawn all the way, but most of what has been drawn has honey in it. So, we're gonna put this back together and uh, see what this brood chamber looks like. I'm real interested to see that. Real interested to see what that brood chamber looks like. Mercy, mercy. So 
some people don't like these wood queen excluders, but, but I do. They're kind of smooth and uh, they come up easy. Quite frankly, I like them. We got a lot of bees in here, I'll tell you that. This thing is packed. This was a nook this year. I think I got it sometimes in May. Uh, about the middle of May, I believe. And this is the end of June. And I'm sweating. Sweating it up. I oh, want you to look at that. That sucker on the outside, absolutely loaded with honey. Absolutely loaded. And bees falling everywhere. Well, I have to put it down here on this, on this top. Man, there are so many bees in here. Brood, brood and pollen. I want to make sure that I don't have a swarm cell. I really do. That's something that uh, would devastate me on this on this hive. It's such a good hive. In fact, this is hive number three. If you're keeping track of numbers, a lot of pollen here. A lot of food. Again, pollen and food. Pollen and food. Some drone there. I got them flying around me over here. See what's going on too. Loaded, loaded with bee bread. This frame is just loaded up with bee bread. Uh, queen cup. We got about the same place I mashed one before. About the same place. Okay, girlies. Move over a little bit there, girlies. Now we got some brood here, but it's it's spotted. Bee bread and brood. Again, kind of spotty. Now she may not be uh, laying because she ain't got no place to lay. You know what I mean? she got plenty of nurse bees in here, I'll tell you that. Plenty of them. I do not see the brood that I would like to see. But this thing is just loaded with bees. Tells me she may have quit laying in preparation for uh, swarming.
that just may be the case here. I certainly hope not. I certainly hope not. Got some drone and a lot of bee bread. A lot of bee bread and some drone. Very, very few, uh, very few brood. Same thing here. Same thing. There's few brood, but just there's just not the brood that we need to see in here. I tell you, this is kind of scary. Kind of scary. But I have got. Another box, oh Lord. This thing is so heavy. I'm about to come to the conclusion that this is this thing's honey bound. That's what I believe. I believe it's honey bound. And you know, I only fed this, I only fed this hive for a week or two when it was when I first put it in a tin frame. Mm. Nothing but honey. Nothing but honey. The entire thing, nothing but honey. Nothing but honey. I am going to get another, another box over here. I've got to. I'm afraid that I didn't see any swarm cells, but uh, I'm afraid it won't be long before I see them because it's so honey bound. Okay. Putting this thing back together. Ladies, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to make a executive decision here. You might not like it. Get down. All you girls, get down. Get down. I have just installed another deep on this hive. This colony is uh, getting out of hand, out of sight. But that don't mean that I'm giving up on some honey, because I'm not. They are, they are already up in this box. Already up in this box.
good. Heavens. Oh, I guess I better put the honey stick on there first. Ladies, get out of the way. we have it there we have it you know I hate having to do that but I'd have any choice it was either do that or I'd probably lose half or more than half of the bees that are in here. So the thing to do is to uh, give them some some foundation to draw out and, uh, and let her lay more. Okay, moving on. <laughs> 